Danny Contreras, an observer Las Vegas shooting survivor who openly guaranteed there were numerous shooters engaged with the assault, has been discovered dead in an unfilled house in Las Vegas with different gunfire wounds. His body was found in an empty home in the northeastern valley after a neighbor heard a man moaning inside the building and called 911. Police say Contreras was dead when they touched base at the 5,800 piece of East Cary Avenue, close North Nellis Boulevard. The lady who called crisis administrations to the scene says she didn't hear any shots, yet the coroner affirmed that Danny Contreras, 35, kicked the bucket of numerous discharge wounds and administered his demise a crime. Danny Contreras has turned into the most recent Las Vegas survivor to bite the dust in suspicious conditions or vanish in the weeks following the shooting. Irritating, the dead witnesses all make them think in like manner, they all gave data that raises doubt about the official story, and they were altogether disregarded by law requirement and prevailing press. Straightforwardly repudiating the official story that just a single shooter shot on the Route 91 Harvest Celebration Swarm, Danny Contreras tweeted the day after the assault saying he was fortunate to be alive after he was pursued by two shooters. Posting on Twitter, Danny Contreras remained in solidarity with huge numbers of the survivors and demanded that there were different shooters engaged with the assault. His tweet was retweeted several times. Feeling lucky to be invigorated. Can't be if I escaped show alive. Two men pursuing me with firearms. Not everyone sulky. Notwithstanding all confirmation, and innumerable survivor declarations, prevailing press is propagating a noteworthy conceal by asserting there was just a single shooter. Las Vegas Review Journal provided details regarding the demise of Danny Contreras and claimed that Metropolitan Police Department manslaughter Lieutenant Dan McGraw disclosed to them Mr. Contreras may have had group ties or have been engaged with opiates. While this might possibly be valid, what is ending up progressively hard to overlook is the quantity of bodies stacking up after the Las Vegas shooting. It is safe to say that they are being quieted to stop reality turning out. John Bileman, who was needed by government specialists following the revelation of a specialized gadget in the in-room of the formerly distinguished shooter Stephen Paddock, executed both himself and his incapacitated girl in a clear murder-suicide. Chad Nishimura, the Mandalay Bay valet who stopped Stephen Paddock's auto, disappeared in the days following the shooting, in the wake of giving a meeting to a Hawaiian standard outlet Kid Four in which he negated the official account and called attention to that Paddock didn't have many packs. Certainly insufficient to truck 27 quick-firing weapons, a large number of rounds and adjustments up to the room. Mr. Nishimura still can't seem to surface. Tragically the destiny of different observers is increasingly sure. Kimberly Succomel of Apple Valley, California, was discovered dead in her home, hours after her better half left for work. Miss Succomel gave an extremely nitty-gritty record of what occurred in Las Vegas, demanding there were various shooters associated with the shooting. Guaranteeing that prevailing press was not coming clean, Kimberly was anticipating making a survivor's gathering to proceed with the journey for truth and equity. Regardless of whether this arrangement of aggravating passings and vanishings are simply adventitious or whether there is something profoundly evil astir presently can't seem to be resolved. However the reaction by law requirement and predominant press, specifically their refusal to address the inquiries that the educated open need replied, is driving many to touch base at a similar conclusion. There is a noteworthy conceal in progress.